Eight News is taking action on covering dozens of signs installed around the city of Richmond were supposed to get drivers to stop for pedestrians. But instead, drivers are hitting the signs. Eight News investigator Carrie O'Brien is live tonight along Midlothian Turnpike to show us what's happening. And Carrie, we see one of those signs right there behind you. Well, that's right, Deanna. Signs like this one behind me here at Midlothian Turnpike and 33rd Street are supposed to remind drivers that you're supposed to stop for pedestrians in crosswalks. That's the law. But as you can see from this sign here, someone plowed right into this one. Signs, signs, everywhere signs. Run over, barely hanging on, or completely gone. They don't know what to do with these things. 74 of these stop for pedestrian signs were installed in 55 high incident locations around Richmond. Less than a year later, 8 News, along with Michael, also known as Doll Baby Superfan, who's been tracking the destruction on Twitter, found almost all of the signs have been completely destroyed, ripped up, or badly damaged. I usually don't even attempt it uh, just because I'm it, never sure if anyone's going to stop or not. Jason Roberts and Nada Ben Karine, who frequently take the kids for a stroll, say it's scary. Ben Karin says some drivers will look right at you and race through the crosswalk. Before you like reach it, they just run it. We have a driver behavior problem. Richmond City Councilman Andreas Addison says the damage to the signs is proof pedestrians are facing serious challenges on city streets. To me, we need to look at holistically how we're investing in our streets. When they strike one of those signs, it reminds them. But Richmond Director of Public Works Bobby Vinson says with every hit, drivers become more aware they need to stop. And despite all the missing signs, he says the campaign is working. They're definitely working. Uh, we had um, approximately a 25% reduction um, in pedestrian related crashes in the city. Now, four pedestrians died last year on Richmond roads, according to statewide crash data. Now, the signs are $400 a piece. They were purchased with federal dollars, and DPW says they plan to replace the signs that were destroyed after the winter months. We're live in Richmond tonight. Carrie O'Brien, back to you.